Morocco's approach to curbing irregular migration is also focused on dismantling criminal networks involved in it before they reach the sea. Moroccan police dismantled 290 networks in 2022. Security forces also foiled 117 other networks by the end of May 2023, bringing the total number of dismantled networks to 1,500 over the past five years. Morocco has recorded a huge increase in the number of irregular migrants from sub-Saharan Africa. This surge is met by a tireless effort by Morocco's Coast Guard to protect its maritime borders and beaches in cooperation with the European Union and Spain. By the end of November 2023, almost 239,000 migrants had arrived in Europe via the Mediterranean and close to 3,000 people had died attempting the journey, according to the International Organization for Migration. For this reason, many migrants discourage others from risking their lives. I do not advise anyone to risk their lives and drown in the sea, because when the migrants leave sub-Saharan Africa, the risks of dying in the Mediterranean is real. Too many people are dying while attempting to cross illegally. Those who stay at home or here in Morocco can work in any field. It's better than dying at sea. Andressa is an undocumented migrant from Cameroon. She arrived in Morocco four years ago. After failing to reach European shores, she decided to stay and live in the North African country. Unfortunately, I arrived here in Morocco through an illegal and irregular route. I was directed by one of my aunts who lives in Europe. I left Cameroon dreaming of Europe, but having seen the opportunities Morocco offered, I opted to stay and work here. At least I can pay my rent and bills. Morocco's sea operations are not solely focused on interception. They also prioritize humanitarian aid. Authorities in the North African country rescued more than 90,000 irregular migrants in 2022. Morocco's Royal Navy also extracted over 12,000 migrants from dangerous conditions in the same period. Abdel Shawashi, CGTN.